Okay, next up we've got the 383, one of my favourite cameras. Uh, there's an interesting story behind the 383. The sensor itself was originally manufactured by Kodak for Olympus cameras. In fact, there was a time when you couldn't buy uh, Kodak sensors because a whole fab had been turned over to production of this sensor for Olympus. <laughs> that was an interesting time for us. But uh, after that, basically, then astronomers got the chance to use it. Uh, and it's offering a really, really large sensor at a really inexpensive price. Uh, so the pixel size on this one is... 5.4 micron. Yeah. And the format itself a little bit smaller than IPS. It's smaller. It's 22 millimeters, four thirds. Yeah. But still, that's uh, is significantly bigger than some of the Sony offerings. It offers that opportunity to do some really wide field, incredibly detailed shots. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, again, it's a CCD camera, this one. So you've got all that quality of CCD, all the, all the images, all the pixels are read out through the same output stage, nice bias frames. Absolutely. It's a quite a nice sensor. And for the cost, uh, you get quite wide field of view yeah. and a very good performance, deep cooled camera. Um, it's just one of our hit cameras of all times. And it's very, very easy to recommend. It's, Absolutely. It's not horribly expensive and it is works with a huge range of telescopes and gives us big wide field views. Absolutely. There you go. That's the Attic 383.